Hi hey everyone. So in a previous uh, blog, I used the template to when a, pl a planner task is created, it logs it um, as a message in Teams. And the problem we had that was firstly, it didn't pull through the name of the person it was created by, you can see there. And secondly, it brought through the person I assigned it to as an ID and not as a name. So I did some serious research and found a blog that helped me. I have to say right up front, I have no idea why it works. <laughs> but I got it to work. So I'm gonna give you the exact steps and it's gonna take me some time to figure out why those things work like that in the background. If you are watching this and you understand why it is that that uh, does give an issue, I'd love you to uh, comment on the blog post or even on social media, on Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook, just to help the rest of us out who's not so technical. So let's try and fix that um, today. If I look at the template that I used, um, you'll see that it says when a task is created, so it looks at a specific planner um, that I have, and then it goes and says, I want you to take the properties from that plan or the task, and then I want you to post it for me to this team, to this channel, and these are the fields that it uh, posts. So these are the fields that weren't pulling through. So the created by is not pulling through for some odd reason, and then the um, value assignments ID doesn't uh, show either. So that uh, is something that I had to fix. And as I mentioned, I did find the fix for it. I can't say that I understand why it's fixed it, but we'll, uh, that's part of the learning process, isn't it? I'll also share the blog, or well, not the blog, but the forum article with you where it is that I found the fix and maybe you can sort some more things out. So the first thing that I do want to do to be able to get those values as display names is that I have to add the following. So um, you'll just have to do these uh, with me step by step. So between the task is created and where it publishes us to Teams, I want you to go and add an action and I want you to search for the following action. Initialize and it's variable that we want to. So a variable, think of a variable as a post-it that you stick up on the fridge that reminds you or gives you a number of something you want to use later. A variable allows us to store a data in a workflow that we want to use in another step. So it's just a little parking spot. So I'm going to use that initialize variable. And then once I've got that, so firstly, we've got to give this variable a name. So that's the thing you're going to reference some later. So I'm going to call this the um, assignee ID. Okay. And then um, the type of variable we're going to set up is actually a string. So I'm going to supply you the string as well. And if I go to value, you'll see that you can build an expression there. So I can either pick fields from somewhere or I can build my own expression. Now the expression you're going to have to build is this one. So let me just get it. This is the physical text that you have to add there. So substring, string, trigger body. This is the piece that you have to add. I'm going to just copy that and I'm going to paste it right there. As I said, this is not my strong point, people. I have no idea how that works, but I did find a fix. So there it is. There's the string that you have to use. You can copy and, well, not copy and paste that, but you're going to have to write that down. And, um, and then I've pasted it in there. I will put this in the WordPress blog as well. I'll copy it as text in there, but in the video, of course, um, it won't show. So then I'm going to say, okay, so that is the string that I want to use. Okay. Then the next step that I need to add is the get profile. So I'm going to add another um, action and I'm going to search for the get, um, get user profile. Oops. Spelling is always important. Get user profile. And um, there we go. Get user profile. And then what I want to look up is actually um, the profile of that variable that we've set up. So um, you see there it is set up now because I've set it up in the previous step. So this is where I actually go and look at that assign ID and I want to be able to get it. So now we want to set the variable. So this is to start the process and what is it that we're looking at? And now we want to set that field. So we want to park that uh, data somewhere. So I'm going to search for the action called set variable. So let's have a look. There we go, set variable. And now if you look at the set variable, the name that I'm going to pick, of course, is this assign ID because I'm busy with this step. And then what is the value that I want to push to that field? So the value I want to push is the field that's not showing correctly in the teams because the value that is showing there incorrectly is this value. So um, just to go back to that, it's actually this value assignment um, to user ID, but that's not what I'm going to use then. So I'm going to look this up. And I'm going to say that I want to use the display name. So let's just uh, get the display name. So there's the display name. 
So we want to use that property that we're getting because remember in AD, your account has various properties. It's got your phone number, your email address, your location, and the field that I want to display is the display name. So this variable allows me to go look for that data. And then um, there I'm pulling the sign ID and I'm signing it to the display name because I want to use that field. So that's the first step that we want to do. And that then allows us, if I go to apply to each, then this is signed to. I'm going to remove that field and now I can actually use that um, field that I've now populated. So you'll see that I can now pull that same display name from this and you'll see this says get user profile v2. I'm going to now pull that uh, display name from there. I'm quite convinced that I've got extra steps in here that's not necessary but I messed around with it and I definitely broke a couple of things. So for now this is working, I'm not going to touch it. But there's a couple of things that doesn't completely make sense to me. And maybe sometimes later, I'll be able to figure it out. But that's the first step. Now, the next thing that I want to fix is this created by that doesn't display. So again, here at the top, I'm going to add another action. This is also going to be a get profile. Uh, get user profile. There we go, get user profile. Now the difference with this one, and again, don't ask me why, this is just one of those things that I don't understand. If I look at the fields that comes from plan, and I remember at the top there I've got value assignments by user ID, and there I've got assigned to user ID, but also there's the value created by user ID, but I don't have one for the assigned to, um, which is just value created. This is the value assignments. And I think it's because I have the extra field here, the value created by user ID, because that's the field that I can then use. So I'm going to use the value created by user ID and that's going to pull the display name for me. The only reason I can think why is because I don't have a normal value assigned to um, user ID. I've only got this assignments um, by user ID. So now if I go to this final step at the bottom, I can now pull the second display name. So this created by, if I go here, now remember it's not this first one that I'm looking at, it's the second one that I'm looking for. So if I scroll down V2, there's V22, which is the second one that I've added. And that's the display name that I want to add. So that means I can now show the physical names. Again, people, I have no idea why this works. Okay, and that's just part of the learning process. We'll definitely figure that out at some point. So I've added a variable to pull the ID um, and show it as a display name for the assigned to person. But then the person who creates the tasks, and that's another reason why it's different. Remember that your list has properties for the created by and the and modified by. So it's much easier to pull that field. This variable I have to do because it's actually one of the fields in the planner that I have to use. It's not a standard list um, field. So if I then look at this, I'm going to save this. Let's see if we get any issues. Seems we're good to go. And then let's just take a look and see if um, it's switched on. So you'll see there it's definitely switched on and let's test the theory. So I'm going to go to Teams. I'm going to go to my planner, which is set up here at the top. I'm going to add a new task. So I'm going to say review submissions um, for expenses. I don't know, coming up with nonsense. I'm going to set a due date to this and say it must be done by the second. I'm going to assign this to Brahm. Please remember to not assign tasks to people outside of your team. I'm going to add the task and then we're going to give it a couple of seconds to run. There we go. We can see that we've got a successful run. So if you check um, and you click on the run, you can actually see the different steps that it's gone through. So there we go. All of those are green, which is pretty cool. But that means that if it was successful, there should be a write up in the team. So let's have a look. If we go to that planner audit log. I remember all these other ones in between were tests that I did. And there we can see, let's take a look. Created by Tracy van der Skaif, assigned to Brahm Internship. Let me just give myself a high five. <laughs> like I mentioned, I still don't know how that happened and why it works. So um, I hope that that helps you. Um, strange little steps that I had to go through to get those names, but I managed to get them. And that's the first step towards success. And, um, and then also for those that's been following this uh, challenge of mine, I did make a decision today to just pause the challenge uh, slightly due to what's going on in the world. And I am going to be spending all my efforts into sharing um, blogs 
and tips and tricks to help people work better from home because I think that's very, very needed at the moment. So I'm going to just pause this slightly, this uh, power platform challenge that I'm running and I will definitely continue it. So please don't worry about that. I will continue to try and post in between um, some of these that I can continue. But I think I'm going to focus a little bit more just on Microsoft Teams and OneDrive at the moment and then we'll get back to this challenge soon. Thanks for those that's followed it and um, I don't know, maybe we'll listen to this video or watch this video a couple of months from now and wonder what all the drama was about. But what I want to say is just uh, people, stay at home, be safe, um, be good to your family, um, enjoy the times that you do have and keep on learning, don't stop learning. If you're working from home, please continue to learn and I will share as much resources as I can um, to help the people that are suddenly at home and maybe working from home for the first time. So we'll catch up soon. I will continue to post on this challenge. I'll try as much as I can, but I am going to concentrate more on the working from home type of blogs that I can share to help people working from home. Chat soon.